So the AeroPress makes me very happy. Love the AeroPress. Uh, however, incompetent corporations really tick me off and get me mad. Ask my wife, she'll tell you. Uh, seems like every day brings new ways for them to rip us off, either through incompetence or some draconian laws that make modding an Xbox a worse crime than killing someone. We live in a society where money is worth more than life. And that's shown particularly in our government who makes laws that set corporate, excuse me, I'm sorry, corporate greed on top of everything else. Our government passes laws that curtail severely our rights as consumers all in the name of either fighting piracy or the ever-present war on terror. Doesn't seem to matter who's in office, one administration codifies and then extends the anti-consumer policies of the previous. It's a repeatable pattern. The fix is in. The deck is stacked against us. It seems like there's nothing we can do. So I've been thinking about this, and there has to be a way to fix this problem. We can't do it through politics. So what can we do? Well, the first step is we have to decide that we're not going to take it anymore and we're going to fight back. That's the easy part, right? So once we've decided that, well, oh boy, what's next? Well, let me tell you, you use your voice, okay? You start by calling these companies, writing them, and letting them know what you're what your problem is, right? Some companies will redress your issues. Uh, but when that doesn't work, what can you do? Well, we live in a great time because most of us can make, a, you know, a good portion of the world know our problems either through Twitter, Facebook, Dig, Newsvine, whatever the case is. We can tell the world that we've been wronged. Now you might say, I'm not a rich and famous movie producer with millions of adoring fans and thousands of followers on Twitter. How can my voice make a difference like his voice makes? Well, you need to deliberately set up your social connections so that you have people with common interests, common passions, and a common direction so that together you can start to impact change. Now imagine calling a company and say, 10 of your friends call this company and say, you wronged one of us, we're all canceling. Now imagine 100 people doing that. That would get someone's attention, you think? You see where I'm going with this? So, I don't remember the next slide, but that's okay. <laughs> that's right. In doing this, we're gonna help the corporations because we're gonna kill the incompetence they seem to not be able to do. We wouldn't allow incompetence in our life or our business or workplace. Why would we allow it with the people who take our money? When all else fails, small claims court is your friend. I've done a lot of research on this. Small claims court is the most underutilized weapon in the consumer's arsenal. There's lots of great information on how to easily take someone to small claims court. But you know, this isn't all about negativity and fighting back. We're not just fighting against what we hate, but we're fighting for what we believe in and what we want. We want to band together and actually make positive changes, not just to kill incompetence, right? We need communities to get together and come up with ideas on how we can, I'm sorry, we can band together and, and do something like create a, a farming co-op or maybe create a group that buys American, right? In, in the numbers we have, there's power. Five people might be able to get better you know, prices on some sporting goods. 25 might get a little you know, money off their cell phone, but you know, 1,000 people, 10,000 people, they could write that cell phone plan that actually fits their lives. And you may have to start small, but the thing is, if you can get a few people in the crowd moving in sync and in the same direction, the crowd will notice, they will watch, and they will follow. If local motors can create an open sourced car, why can't some local geeks get together and create an open, a great open source DVD player or a music player that works the way we want it to and wouldn't make me a felon for connecting it to Linux instead of <laughs> Mac or Windows? So really, go out there, do some prototypes, mock up designs on existing technology, find people who share that passion and get together and let's make some changes. Right? So it's time to take the purse strings, pull them tight, and let the power of the purse make the change that you want to see. Thank you.